father and son here trying very hard to tie down this mattress set that they bought. And I know that's their goal because they're they're like we're not gonna take an uh, a, a, an L on this. And we're gonna go and, and make sure we get this home. They got yarns and strings here, and they're tying it down, and you know they're looping it around a bunch of times and making sure it's not gonna go. But I think before you attempt to do anything as silly as this, you really have to ask yourself what happens when that mattress blows off. Because you didn't properly secure it. Yeah, yeah, no, that is a, uh, that's not a car I wanna be driving behind on the highway. That doesn't look secure at all, folks. That looks like that thing is coming off. Scary story. My worst ever driving experience, and it's not like this, but it was literally like I was driving and, um, and the, um, freaking hood, I accidentally hit the hood thing, so it's like it wasn't fully locked in. On the highway, that thing came flying up into the windshield, just annihilated the windshield, so it's like I couldn't see anything at all going 100 miles, uh, kilometer, kilometers per hour. I can only imagine though, if a full up mattress just came at me, like, that'd be even worse, man. Boys, just rent the truck. I need four more. I need four more. You cannot get tired. You cannot, you cannot get tired. I'm gonna carry it to my eight kids. I know, but you cannot get it right. Okay, give me four it? more. I'll hold them. Yeah, okay. I got eight kids, believe it or not. Yeah, yeah, I know. You trust me? There's only six. I need one more. I'm not gonna take the tray. Oh, yeah. One more, one more. <laughs> one more. Yeah, one more. Thank you. Thank you. No, you can get on the I'm, I'm, they're over here. My kids right here. Where's your kids then? Where's your eight kids? I don't believe that you have eight kids, buddy. That does not sound like my guy has eight kids. You know, he says that he's got eight children. Where are the eight children? They should be, you know, bouncing off of the walls right now, running around you, grabbing it, getting the juice. Kind of feel bad for that lady, you know, because I, I do think, I don't know if he's coming back with that tray. That tray might be gone, you know? Uh -huh. I hope that he does have eight kids. I'm single. So oh, here we go again. I will not. Will we come back here another time? Okay. Okay. No, I'm going to have him come out and find you. I'm going to have him come out and see you. Yo, no way. There's a place to sit. I don't know if you're able to pull up the receipt. Oh, there's nothing to try to make their way out. Can I help you out? Let's see. Yeah, yeah, no problem. Are you sure? Yeah. Okay. No way. No way. Could you imagine if that's your grandmother? Oh God, I, I, I could not, I don't want to be related to you. That would suck. I'm just walking through Costco right now and I see my grandma just sitting, plopping herself on the ground saying I have constitutional rights, I'm an American. Oh my gosh, like how do I like suck the blood out of my body so I'm no longer related to you? I, I just, yeah, like why? Why, this is kindergarten level stuff, grandma, come on. Wait in line for 30 minutes for this cut in front of me. What do you say? Oh yeah? Nobody yeah, why is he a dick here. though? He told the register one and told us to come over here. And I got it mixed up. I didn't know which one it was. I didn't see anybody here, so we came here. There was nobody here. Huh? Well, he just did what I said and I He's go. rude. What on earth? I don't know. I'm torn. I'm torn. Well, I'm not torn. Clearly, they did something wrong. I don't know. This is something that I would probably pick my battles over personally. But that's just how I would deal with it. And hey, you're free to deal with things however you want to. Well, maybe not free to deal with them however you want to. There are consequences for your actions, but I don't know. I just like couldn't curse at an old person. <laughs> You know what I mean? Like, even if they were being rude or like caught in front of me in line, I'd be really irritated. Do not get me wrong. Like, I do not have patience for things like that, but <sighs> I probably wouldn't curse at them. But he said, stick it in your ear. Like, who says that? I guess old people. <laughs> I've never heard that before. Stick it in your ear. Next time somebody pisses me off, that's what I'm gonna say. You can't see the What's, Okay, Jerome, let me in or else I'm gonna report you to Instacart and Costco because I Go already ahead. accepted an order 
Go ahead. From Costco. I did Go not. Ahead. I was I not disrespectful right. to you. Oh, yes, you have. No, I wasn't. You couldn't did, I, did I insult no, you? You, you lower your voice. You look, at, look at how he's no, yelling. Look at how he's yelling. We got started. cameras. You came in here yelling. No, I didn't. Yes, you no, did. I, didn't. I heard you from I just way up there. Okay, well. Lower your voice. You know, I can get my Ross manager to come back here and kick you out. I'm just saying. You're not gonna get anywhere by yelling. You came in here yelling at the lift I driver. wasn't yelling. Yes, you I are. wasn't you yelling. Oh, dang. This is a game of he said, she said. I'm gonna need some proof in this one. <laughs> like, what would he come in yelling about? What was he yelling about? I don't know. I got a lot of questions, but somebody did not get their Instacart groceries that day. That has become abundantly clear. You're a camera right now. Okay, what happened? I don't know. She's trying to stop me. He doesn't want okay. to show us. Well, you have to show your receipt. I don't have to show your receipt. Yes, you do. No, I don't. Yes, you do. That's like so much energy also, but I also love, it's so Costco to be like, listen, we need your receipt. This is not new. This is how it works. This is how it's always been working. Do you have a receipt for this? Yeah, I do. Okay. Can we see it? I don't have to. It I don't have to. Yes, I do. And you don't have my permission <laughs> Membership to card? I don't need always. It. Yes, you do. I don't need it. You're about to go live on YouTube and you're going to make it yourself. Hey, but he's about to go live on YouTube. I don't need it. It's a big step. I don't, need it. Read, yeah. I don't care. Front yard versus uh, Robinson Shopping Center says yes, that I'm allowed. Costco's so big. It's literally like an amusement park. Like it's like, yeah, we need to see something. Anyone can walk in and out here. There's garage doors that open and people walk in and out. We can't keep track. And this guy's like, no, I'm not showing you anything. That's pretty, I don't know. I Costco's stressful enough. You have to like get a membership card. You have to like be cool just to shop there. I don't know. It's stressful as is. I love how another employee is like, do you have your card? And he's like, yes. I do. He's like, when we got in here, if I didn't have that, they're like, great. Now, how do you get out? He's like, with the receipt that I have, but I'm not showing you because I'm just choosing not to. That's so, oh, I'm rattled. Now I'm rattled. 9 a.m. Never going to Costco. See if we want to buy a new one or not. You need to become we a member. We do have an old card. Costco is. Yeah, so that cash card has $1,000 on it that we can't use and you won't, you won't give it back. Speak, you won't give, back, give us back the money. Uh huh. And that person has to come in here and talk to me. And then you'll give them the refund? I will talk to that person with a member. You will give them the refund? I will talk to that person with a member. Who is the member? Oh, so he's bringing in a random card. I'm the member. Let's see. You're right. not a member. You need to sign up. Sir. Not a member, see? No, so this is useless, you're saying, even though you guys took $1,000 off. Here's the deal. I, again, with the membership thing, it's, even the last dude, even the last Karen was like, listen, I'm not showing you my receipt, but I am a member. I have my card. It's right here. So my name on it. You need a card. This is uh, this is step one. This is why I can't go to Costco because this this process is already deemed too complicated for me in my head. You know what I mean? I'm like a membership, a card. I'm not gonna get that. I just need groceries. This guy didn't get the memo. And also, you can't use other people's card. Ah, oh, I used to work at a New Balance, the shoe store. Gift card mania. We could do some Karens at New Balances. What's up? We still have the the cam footage. Oh my god, what a time! People yelling at me about orthotics. I'm like, ma'am, you need to check yourself and your arches. You need to relax right now. Been wearing heels for 90 years of your life. It's not my foot. It's not my foot. <laughs> it's also not my fault, but it's also not my foot. Both are accurate. You're harassing me. I'm not harassing you. You're coming close to me. You're coming close to me. Back off! Threat me again! Running the world the since 1776. He's wearing like a Terry Fox shirt or something. He's wearing a nice shirt. I know that's a nice shirt. It's like running the world since 1776. It's like who run the world? Girls. He's like, yeah. And then he's just screaming as loud as he can at someone. Can I watch that again? Is he saying you're harassing me or something? I need to watch it again. I was too distracted by his nice shirt. You're harassing me. I'm not harassing you. You're, you're I coming feel close to You're coming close Back to me. Back off! Yes. Threat me again! Back the f up, put your f phone down. I'm, I'm not laughing at the situation. That seems very tense. Not sure what happened before. Not sure who's in the right. Yada, yada, yada. Okay, uh, blah, blah, blah. We're saying all the nice things. It's so funny that the guy's screaming at the top of his lungs that he feels threatened. I'm like, you're doing the thing right now and you're wearing such a nice shirt. That's a shame. Can't wait to see him at the marathon in October. I'm like, hey man, you need some water? He's like, I feel threatened. You're threatening me right now. With his orthotics, I'm like, oh, now it explains it. He's a runner. That's why there's so many Karens and New Balances. They're all runners. Run of the world since 1776. Karens, so they think. Car has been on for two hours. No, it hasn't. Yeah. No, no, literally just started like five people. minutes ago. I just went you know. to go grab something inside and I was gonna get hop back in. Listen, what? The fumes give me headaches. So you're like okay? the this can't be real. Karen. Are you like no. the, C the CO2 police? <laughs> Listen, first give me the keys. I mean, most of us have to give me, give me the car, keys. Whose car is it? Who, which one of you? What? Is, we're not going to give you the car keys. So I can turn that car off. No, we're not giving you the keys. Well, the fumes just standing here are wow, giving we're me really headache. Getting... All right, okay, all right. Just turn it off. Let's, yeah. I'll turn it off. Yeah, please. Thank okay. you. Go ahead. 
Okay, I could understand perhaps if the, oh, what's it called, is it uh, uh, carbon monoxide, or is that what it is that comes out of the exhaust, or dioxide, carbon, di carbon monoxide, right? Carbon monoxide, let's go with that. Let's go singular, mono, oxide. Hi, I took chemistry. <laughs> they can be harmful, it absolutely can be harmful, but that's usually when you're in an enclosed situation with poor ventilation. I inside the house garage, maybe, a, or a parking garage, or just somewhere where there's, there's not a lot of good fresh air. It looks like you're standing outside on a beautiful sunny day to me, so I, I do find that hard to believe. And there's also a part of me that thinks this isn't real. There's something about this that smells a little fishy, and it's not the exhaust coming from the motor vehicle. It feels like this could be fake. I don't know, I'll slap a fakey, could be fakey eggs and bakey on this one. I don't know. Sometimes I'm just not giving a lot of context to what's going on. There, there's, there's a case in point here. Did the guy break a biking law or is it bylaw? I, I feel like it might be a bylaw, like a city thing. Uh, but at the same time, I, I don't really know what happened before this, so I can't really say what law he was breaking and or I don't really know what law it was. I'm not much of a biker. I'm more of a get in the Uber kind of guy. Just let it go. If he's doing something wrong, if it's, you know, just let him do his own thing. I, I don't know. People got too much time in their hands, I think. Uh, okay, so Rachel Kelly says, hey, would anybody mind sending me the notes from class this morning? I accidentally slept through class. Cameron says, same. Uh, Ulysses says, same as them, please. Ethan says, notes, set an alarm. Ethan, oh boy. Yeah, no, Ethan Ethan really went after that uh, right there. He went for the jugular. And, and frankly, like, is he wrong? Not at all, he's wrong. And let's face it, guys, like, if you're missing class, like, I don't wanna say that, I don't wanna make the generalization, like, if you're missing class, you do it, like, a lot. But I, I, I tend to think that it's like, if you miss class, if you sleep through class anyways, it's like you're probably an individual who doesn't show up to every single class, where somebody who does go to class, like they typically go to every single class. You know, like I, I feel like if you if you do this and then you get the notes, like you'll just keep doing it. And like I don't want to be taking notes for you the whole time. So I'd probably send them the notes the first time, and then if they asked me again, I'd be like, mm, setting the alarm, bro. Tia Tamara says, this is the most passive aggressive thing I've seen in a while. Knott's villagers hold birthday for pothole they've been complaining about for two years. Wait a second, wait. Can you explain that to me, Chris? Do you understand what's happening here? I don't really understand what's going on here, guys. Somebody's birthday was put on hold because they're mad about a pothole. What doesn't make any sense to me is that they, they, they put a birthday cake next to the pothole as if the pothole was gonna eat the birthday cake and now they're just down a birthday cake. So, like, I don't think that they got revenge at all, bro. I just think that they lost out of their birthday cake and the pothole still isn't fixed and somebody's gonna drive over that beautiful cake and that really sucks. So, that was dumb. Oh, it's been a year or two? Oh, it's the it's the birthday of the pothole. That makes sense. Okay, now I'm putting it together. Alright. I mean still stupid. Well, okay, this is just on Costco because clearly they were not aware that Karen out here had something that's much more important to do than every other person. Costco, how did you guys not get the memo that Karen has way more important things to do than every single other person who has to wait? How did you guys not know that? You know, look at her. She is so important. She has so many great things going on in her life and her, her things are far more important, far better, far greater than everyone else who has to wait. Guys, come on, we need to accommodate her. Oh. I promised myself that I wouldn't sample too much today, <laughs> trying to be on a diet, but I, I'm just gonna have a little nibble. Just a little tiny. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> yeah, and then and then a little nibble leads to a lot of nibble and more and more and more. I've uh, I have seen some videos on the internet before of people just going through Costco sampling everything. And as much as I'm like, that's wrong and you shouldn't, and I feel for the people at Costco. Come on guys, the free samples are pretty dope, right? Like they are pretty freaking awesome. I do like to partake in the occasional free sample. We always buy something of course, but if I can get one or two of the nice like little cookies or something, well, maybe I'll have one. <laughs> Karen, let her door open. Shut the door, Karen. Well, wait, there's gotta be more to the clip. Maybe she's just walking around. She's putting her thing away. I don't know what's going on here. We can't say that that's Karen for sure. And if it is, it's kind of a dumb Karen because your door is gonna get slapped completely off if that is the case. Like, it, your car is literally gonna get annihilated. So that is a really dumb Karen if it is a Karen, but I'm not even sure if it is a Karen because she might just be doing something. I still can't decide. Oh. <laughs> This is what I mean. It's impossible to make a full judgment on things based off of whatever that was. A five second, six second long clip. I don't know what happened prior. I don't know what's going to happen later. I do imagine that our person behind the camera has done something to antagonize our potential Karen in this instance. I want to know what it is. If you guys know, then let me know in the comments, please. You want to go here? You don't just go yeah, literally, like somebody else came and intervened. They're like cooling the situation down. They're like, just walk away. It's not worth it. And then you keep yelling stuff to their back. Like, what do you expect to happen? They're doing the thing. They're walking away. They're leaving the situation. They're removing themselves. But you keep yelling when I'm walking away. I will come right back, lady. <laughs> Mark my words. What on earth just happened? I genuinely don't even know what the goal was here. Oh, what the f That was so weird. Imagine, imagine seeing that. What would you even do? I don't know, I have a lot of questions about this one. I'm not gonna let her go because that's just my right. 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 Can you call this phone manager, please? Unbelievable. Are you just letting two people that were behind me, in front of me, I have to stay in line all over again? No, you told them to put the items and they're putting the items. My items are here, she's not letting me go. All you needed to do is tell her to let me go. I feel like if this was me, like if I was in line and I was gonna leave, I would like ask the person behind me or something first before just like leaving and then expecting the person who's checking out the groceries to deal with it. Also, this lady should meet the old people from before. <laughs> that old guy can say, stick it in your ear. <laughs> this one might actually be my favorite story about my mom ever. So my mom does not dress like the bougie woman that she is. She's more about comfort than she's about style. So one day we go to a Gucci store. I don't know what anything is, so I'm just kind of standing off to the side because I don't want to break anything. But my mom is really just eyeing a bag okay. that she sees on the shelf. This Gucci store is empty, but no one has come to help us. My mom is wearing sweats and a beanie, and the woman just looks at her like... Did I say woman? Sorry, I meant Karen. So after not being helped for like 10 minutes, my mom has to go up to the Karen and ask if she can see one of the bags on the shelf. <laughs> she looks at my mom and says, um, yeah, but it's really expensive, so I'm gonna have to ask you to just be really careful. Word for word, I'm not kidding. So my mom laughed and went and bought two more bags from another employee. Commission! I, it's hard to see. Here's the thing: when I get sh when I'm shown a when I see a video like the like hence the biking video before, I can see as a primary source of evidence document that that lady was a little weird, a little off kilter. I'm hearing this from her mouth, and I'm gonna be honest: if that is factually the 100% the situation, that yes, she should be helped no matter what she's wearing, whoever she is, because that's customer service. However, at the same time, walking into place and expecting to be taken right away is you know she said it she said it was empty but how empty was it 
Was it break time? You know what I mean? There's just there's other parameters there, and it's hard for me to get in there and go, you're guilty. I can't, you know, it's hard for me to put a put a verdict on that. So I'm gonna agree with her, but I I'm I would like to investigate that one more. I don't know, something fishy there. Remember when Cardi B got revenge for Cad Dollar Ha? Hey everybody. Thanks for coming. Thank you so much. Thank you. It was so gonna okay yeah and then oh no oh just what what's the deal with nobody giving me a hug wow what's great me? <laughs> I can actually do that voice and it now it contextually makes sense now because that's Jerry Seinfeld look at that uh, he's an infamous like germaphobe though like he doesn't he doesn't really do like the ooh <laughs> don't touch me I don't know why he's British now. I kind of get where uh, Jerry Seinfeld's coming from though you know you, you never know he wants to stay safe and you, you can't blame him that doesn't mean you got to be a bum about it though you gotta let people down gently be polite people are trying to embrace you and you're like no I don't think so. I'm Jerry Seinfeld. No, you gotta let him down gently. So, but you just gotta, especially after the last couple of years, what's been going on. Sometimes you just gotta, you know, take. Uh, everybody's different. That's all I can say about that. You know, reporter takes revenge. Okay, they just walked away from her. Okay, Is she gonna do the same thing. What the? Oh, this song is gonna get copyright. Okay, he's a song, and she walks away. Just one with a little, little effect there too. Walks away from him. I mean, yeah, I, I guess so. I don't really know. Why would you, what, what a weird shot actually. I, I also have to re say too, reporting in the middle of the field like that with a desk is kind of strange too. Not that I've done much journalism, but it, I feel like this is kind of strange. And then, that's a weird, is that not a weird shot? I feel like that's a weird shot to take when they're walking away like that, either or. But hey, good for you for getting revenge. You take your thunder, honey, take your thunder. Oh, did I just call something out? I might be right. Oh, no, I'm You're gonna shut yeah, go ahead. I'm and really then tell them how much of a jerk you are. Nice, happening all near the I front door and, and exit door, it's great. But you could have helped me with that, could you? By all means, you suck at customer service. I was exceptional. You weren't. Duh. I wasn't. You weren't. I had quality scores that would make you blush. So shut up. Okay. Well, here's the deal. Sometimes I want to say that to a Dairy Queen employee, you know? Sometimes in my head, I'm like, man, I've been so nice to you. I've been patient with your little flip stuff. I've been nothing but patient during this entire wait. It's a hot summer day. We all want ice cream in our mouths. This is great. I want to say some things sometimes, but I go, oh, I'm an adult. Someone will film me and I'll get in trouble. And also, they're a child working at Dairy Queen. I can't scream in their face. So, you know. Uh, yeah, just try. I mean, I don't know. It's keep it together. Get your shit together. I mean, it's, it's easy to get upset when you're holding groceries. I get it. You know, after like a full minute holding those plastic groceries, especially more than one on your wrist, you're cutting off circulation. Your brain's not getting all the blood it needs. You're starting to act a little crazy. Maybe you're gonna start yelling at someone who doesn't deserve it. You know what I mean? Put those groceries down, put your hands on the desk, and be like, hey, we'll get through this. Yes, I have a receipt. Yes, I'm a member. Show you my No, I don't. Legally, no, I don't. No. Yes, you no. do. Yes, you do. Would you like to show me the law? Is there a law? Yeah. This is private property. I don't uh -huh. even have to let you shop here. That's my private oh, property. Oh, camo, no, I cargo I shorts. It. I smell trouble. You know what? And we purchased all that freight that was inside. That's fine, but yeah. that, what's in that? So you can show your receipt if you have a problem with that. But I'm not. Here, I have my receipt. Thank. That's all you have to do. Okay. So why, why, why No, I showed you the receipt. I love the last four seconds of that because like it's been resolved and then the energy just goes, <laughs> it's like, well, I have it. It's like, why don't you show it? It's like, well, because I have cargo shorts on and I lost it. I have so many pockets, I couldn't find it. I have 13 pockets in these shorts. I couldn't find this little receipt. I was like, me in the summertime, I wear cargo shorts. I can't find a bus transfer. I'm like, listen, guy, give me a minute. I'm not trying to break any laws. I'm just trying to go to work. Let me check one of my umph amount of pockets. The guy has so many pockets, too. That's where the trouble is. Wait, am yeah. I yeah. seriously? Yeah. This is my dad. Oh, okay, good. We didn't even do anything. Okay, You're the one right. making loud outbursts. Yeah, exactly. Okay, but well, I'm not well, serious. <laughs> well, I'm glad you're not Doesn't remember where she put her camera up. Okay, good for you. So is my uncle. And he's on TV. As seen on TV. Well, and she's YouTube, apparently. Yes. Yeah. 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 Well, yes. 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 I have two myself. children. Yeah. Sorry, oh, she has two, Olivia, she has two children, so she can scream at people while they're working. So you call me a slam pig and you don't even know who I am. Dad, where are you She's at? calling for her dad, because her dad apparently is Batman or something. She's calling for backup. Maybe you should go to the Roots aisle and figure that one out first, in my humble opinion. Something's... Huh. Yell at people and say things. I'm gonna say things. What's up? That's how the internet works. Fix your roots. Karen ass. I can't even say that, can I? You can. I don't know. She has, I'm like, I honestly, I would, I would try and like reason, but I was too distracted by what's going on up here. I was like, you know what? I'd be mad too. That's all I'm saying. I command you in Jesus Christ's name to get on this Is that the Lord's work? I don't think it is. It certainly doesn't look like it. 
Oh, really? She's got Jesus Christ on her back. This is great. We need support in aisle four. We got Karen and Jesus. They're both not happy. Really? In what aisle? Yeah, she's like, I command you with the power of Christ to leave this aisle. I don't know. I think he's busy. I think he's got some other stuff to do at that point. I don't know. He's, uh, he's busy listening to some other things. I would hope. What if he showed up and was like, you got it. Boom. And then everyone was like, Ugh, into the aisles. And she was the Lord. Like she was like, you know what? I wasn't lying this whole time. That's only my, like, that's my fear. I always see people like on the subway yelling about Jesus and stuff. And I'm like, what if they're right? What if they're actually, what if they're onto something here? You know? I've asked my neighbor, please, please not to let his dogs bark all night. Today I received several packages in the mail. Early tomorrow morning, I'll have my revenge. Oh boy. Oh boy, the drum kit is coming out. You already know that that kid's gonna be playing those drums in the garage. That's where it's gonna be. It's gonna be in the garage. It's gonna be facing directly the neighbor. And uh, and yeah, you know what? You are gonna get your revenge a little bit. Like it's it is petty. It's super duper petty. And uh, I mean, like, what are they gonna do about their dogs? Like, if their dog barks, their dog barks. You know, like, how are you gonna deal with that? But uh, but I guess you've decided to go the route of the drum kit. So there you go. As revenge for my brother wrapping my Christmas present in duct tape last year, this year I wrapped my brother's present in concrete. Revenge best served stone cold. Dude, I actually kind of love that. Like that, you know what? That's a good brotherly relationship right there. Like that is just like, and frankly the present, is just having to break through and get my present. Like, that would be the funnest part to me. Like, I don't know what you got me, but like, it doesn't even matter at that point because now I get to like dig through and it's like a freaking mining expedition. Like, on it, like, that's all, that's elite. That's elite levels of brotherly love right there. They're loud. They're loud. Oh boy. Wow. So, <laughs> gee, that's kind of funny. You already know that like somebody, wow, like, I wonder who did that first. Like, I wonder if they did like the top people did it first or the bottom people did it first, but like, like, who, who started this? Who instigated this? Like, you're you know this is this has been feuding for like months like maybe even years man it's like and now they've resorted to this like my goodness this guy had printed checks of him and his new wife so he could write alimony checks to his ex dude that is okay that's number one that's number one so far that is number one guys that's actually insanity and if he's just doing that to be an ass then you suck but I mean like if his ex-wife like cheated on him and like tried to take him for all he's worth then like honestly get your freaking revenge dude like respect my boyfriend asked me what I wanted to eat and I said I don't know and this is what he brings me a little nice plate of I don't knows damn I mean I've seen this one before uh, or like I've seen I've seen like a few other people do this one before but come on guys let's face it it happens and you know what I'm I'm completely like I'm definitely not blameless either like there'll be times my girlfriend's asking me like what do you want to do and I'm like I don't know and then I'm like but I want to do something and then she's like okay what and I'm like I don't know you know it's like I, I feel like I do the exact same thing so just taking a rest in line okay okay so we can do this we can do this I've always wondered so nice too she's like do you want me to help you up Oh, okay. That's in, okay. That's actually really funny. So this woman handles it like a pro. She's like, can I help you up? Everything okay? She's like, I just don't want anyone to like, you know, rush out of here with their buggies and cause, you know, any collisions as we've seen in part one and two and Danforth and all that stuff. Um, no, she stands up, she's able to move around, it seems, then she moves over about eight feet and then sits back down again. Cause that's how we're gonna sit in line now, apparently. Next time we go shopping, we're just gonna, just gonna sit down and be like, well, I'm tired today. So you have to avoid me from up there on the other side of your buggy after you hit me, it's your fault. This is a hit and run. Hit and run, hit my car, double felony, get out of the vehicle. She's this turning the, the wheel so chance. much for a car that's only going frontwards and backwards three feet. Like she's doing the... These things are, yeah. But just casually grabs the front bumper like it's uh, her backpack. When it comes to cars, like that's so scary. Those things are machines. You just like do this by accident. Evidently, you can just get yourself in a few collisions, even if you're operating within a few feet of space. Um, yeah, hope she's okay. Hope he's okay. Hope her bumper gets glued back onto the front. Seems like she knew what she was doing with that at the end there. So hopefully that goes well. Ah, uh, yes, a beautiful drive in the city. 
Mm, yes. A man walking the street. Not, oh, okay. Okay. That is what you call irony? I don't know, what do you, what do you call, it? karma? I think that's karma. Yeah, that's karma. He actually might be intoxicated, actually, because his reflex are a little slow. Clearly, you can see the car coming. Uh, the death stare, this is going on, this whole, that's going on the whole time. And then, and then he bumps himself into the pole. That's a hard recovery. Take it from a clown, take it from the whole circus. That's a hard recovery. Whether, you know how hard it is to not look funny and embarrassing when you, that, like, that's really difficult to recover from, so. Uh, you take an L on that one, brother. Sorry, dude. You took the L. I'm sorry. This is my mother. And your mother's acting like okay. a Okay. Okay. So how about that? And you need to stop recording me because the more you but record you're... me, I will court her. Okay. And it was just a split second when I looked down. I wasn't even on my damn phone. Okay, I'm sorry. For her talking at me like yeah. a grown woman. Maybe She's older was... than me and wants to ride Maybe my Maybe that I don't care. was a miscommunication. I don't give a, I don't give a Yeah, you see now you now here now there's video evidence of you showing up to someone's house and then you got in the car and maybe maybe you got physical. I don't see the rest, but she got in the car pretty mad because she called her she called her fat. Which okay, maybe it's not nice, but uh, you you might be up on some charges there in a minute, and it's not gonna look good. No, over something again. I I, I can't stress this enough. Someone cursing you, swear just keep walking. Who cares? They don't know you. Who cares? Who cares? Who cares, man? Just get out of there. Right. Out in the air with the sun. Right. Protect us from getting vitamin D and letting our kids play in the sunshine. I mean. So you, you guys. Ma'am, I have told you to exit three more times. This is it. Exit the place. Do it. Record it. Okay. This is not. What is your Officer, you, you don't, don't want to do, do that. that. Officer, you don't. You're being detained. Am I being arrested or detained? Am I arrested or detained? I, I, Someone is, call I, Idaho Clinic Foundation right now and get them on the phone. Call now. I, I'm recording. Someone else call. I don't want people to get so surprised. I, I don't understand. They get so surprised. They're like, I can do whatever I want. And then when the law's like, well, no, you can't actually. And then and then they get arrested in front of everybody on a beautiful day. And now now you're not going to get your vitamin, your D and C because you're going to be spending time in a jail cell for a little bit. So. Hey, you know, now that's your loss, Chief. That's how it goes. My roommate fed a few of us dog food saying it was jerky. He went away this weekend, one kilometer of clinging revenge. Oh my God. Every single thing is wrapped individually in cling wrap. That's insane. Whoa, the testicles are his, the testicles are his basketballs with around 100 meters of wrap on each. Dude. This will take a thousand years to get through. Like literally, this will take forever. That's so much goddamn cling wrap, holy crap. When your ex writes you an apology letter, so you grade it to send it back. Dude, that's insane. Can we, can we just like get into like the, the summary? Let's see the summary. Yeah, okay. Oh, I can't really even see that, guys, I'll be honest. Can't even, I, I'll be honest, I can't even really see that, but it looks like he got a 61 out of 100 so like that's a well i mean that's a passing grade you know like you're not you're definitely not a, an all-star you're not excelling you're not gonna make the honor roll or anything but like you, you passed you know like you, there will be a date you know number four or whatever this is so um <laughs> Nice. Our neighbors very precisely cleaned only their part of the wall. Wow. Okay, you know what? Yeah, that's super petty. That is super petty. But at the same point, like, I feel like we've watched so many videos on this channel of, like, people trying to do something with, like, like cleaning up, like, one part of a lawn or something like that in, like, another person's part of their lawn, and then the other person gets pissed off that they touch their lawn. So it's like... What do you do? You know, it's like maybe like maybe that is all you do. You just clean your side. I don't know. Britt Jones says, I asked a woman who was standing too close to me in line at Home Depot to give me six feet of space. She laughed and said, ha, I'll give you some fucking space and is now like 15 feet behind me thinking she won and not realizing that this is the absolute best case scenario. And yeah, I mean, like literally Britt Jones, like there you have it. You know, it's like. Thank you. Like, I'd be like, all right, you know what? Like, honestly, if you want to be a little bit more petty, make it 20 feet, make it 30 feet. Like, just uh, go back there. Like, seriously, just like get out of my life and my space. Cool.